In this lesson, we're going to see how we can factor a binomial that is the sum or the difference of two perfect cubes. If you'll notice in this example, we have two perfect cubes. We have x cubed, which is x times x times x, and we have 27, which is 3 times 3 times 3. In order to factor this sum of cubes, we start by setting up two sets of parentheses, and I'm going to give a little more space for the second one because it's going to have three terms in that factor, only two in the first. And we first look at the first term of our problem, which is x cubed, and take its cubed root. In this case, that will be x, because x times x times x equals x cubed. We use the sign that's given here, in this case plus, between them, and then we take the cubed root of the second term. In this case, 27, the cubed root is 3. 3 times 3 times 3 is 27. And that will complete our first factor. Now, once we've completed our first factor, to get the second factor, we look at the first term in the newly created factor, and we square it. x squared. Put it right here. And we use the sign that's opposite of the sign we used in the first factor. In this case, we used plus, so now we use minus. And we multiply together the first term times the second term. x times 3 is 3x, and we put that right here. Finally, we square the second term of the new factor, and that's 3 times 3 is 9, and that becomes the last term of our new factor. And there are the two factors of x plus 27, or x cubed plus 27. Now, if that instead of saying x cubed plus 27 had been x cubed minus 27, I'll erase that. And I'm going to go ahead and put in the uh, minus sign here. Now, if that had said x cubed minus 27 like that, then the differences would have been very simple. We would have changed this sign to match the sign of the x cubed minus 27, which now would have become a negative. So we would have put a minus sign right here. And we would have changed the sign over here to be the opposite of the negative. We would have changed this sign to be plus. So the only things different would have been the signs that would have changed in the first factor from plus to minus to match this sign. And then always use the opposite sign here. This would have become plus instead of minus. And this would have been the factors for x cubed minus 27.